Yo dog, I heard you like Christmas ornaments, so I 3D printed a Christmas ornament 3D printer that 3D prints Christmas ornaments. Check it out. First, I designed and 3D printed a whole bunch of parts. This took forever. Next, I took apart an old DVD drive and I basically didn't need anything except for this little stepper carriage thing. And I took all of the parts off it and soldered some wires directly to the stepper motor. Then I picked up some electronics. I got this 240 by 240 1.5 inch LCD display, this Feather M0 motor driver for the stepper motor, and I had to design a custom PCB for the UV LEDs. And then I put it all together. At this point, you're probably wondering, how does this printer work? Let me show you. This printer is what's known as an SLA printer. What that means is this printer uses UV light to cure a liquid resin. The way it does that is it shines different layers of shapes into the liquid. So if you imagine a sphere and you slice that into different layers, you're going to end up with different size circles representing the sphere in a 2D plane. So what this does is it takes that LCD, so it's the LCD screen, and then you take some UV lights underneath it that shine up through it into the liquid and onto a platform. And where it prints is right here. So the way this works is you take the object, you split it into several different images, and then it gets displayed on the LCD screen. And wherever there is white, there's UV light because we're going to remove the back panel of the LCD that has the stock LEDs on it, and we're going to replace them with our own UV LEDs and the UV will only harden where the light is shining through. So you change this, you turn off the lights, turn it back on, you move the platform up one step, you change the image, you do that, and you repeat it, and then you end up with something on the platform when this used to be liquid. Now in order to make this uh, basin that holds the liquid resin, you need to have a clear bottom. So what I did was I took some sheet protectors for like paper, I cut out a small square, and these are two pieces of 3D printed parts that sandwich that piece of plastic between them. And it does so in such a way that it makes it tight so that you get a nice smooth plastic image on the LCD. Where do you get those images from? Well, when you're 3D printing, you take a file called an STL file and you use a program a slicer program that cuts it into layers. But in this case, you need images, black and white images, of each layer instead of a tool path for the 3D printer to follow. So what I'm using is something called Nano DLP. Uh, it's open source software. It's meant to run on a Raspberry Pi or some type of computer. And it creates a server that normally would be running on the actual printer so that you can slice right on the printer and control the motors. In this case, we're just going to slice and we're just going to get the images. So if I run this program, it's going to create a server and then I can go to that server. It's the local host of my computer. And what you need to do is you need to set up the settings so that you have 240 by 240 resolution. The settings are pretty straightforward and once you get it down, then it's really simple. I've already imported an STL file and we can have a look at that. It's this little Santa from Thingiverse. I'll put a link in here. And it's going to slice this Santa into image layers. So normally you do add as plate. We're just going to exit because we've already got it. So we'll go to the plates and we will create it. And basically what it just did was it created all the layers in an image file 
for the Santa, basically. So since we have that, all we want to do is first we find them. So we go to public and then plates and your whatever your latest one is. And now we can see each layer of the Santa that's going to be projected on the LCD. So now that we have that, unfortunately we can't use PNG files on the Arduino because they're compressed and that will be too heavy of a workload for the memory that the Arduino has. So what we have to do is convert it into bitmaps, 24-bit bitmaps. And there's lots of ways to do that. I use Photoshop. I just use like a batch macro that I created. And now that we have bitmaps, we can put them on the SD card of the Arduino and we can load them onto the LCD screen. For the Arduino software, all it's going to do is lower the build plate into the liquid, load the first image, turn on the light, raise it up a few, put it back down one less than the one before, load the next image, turn on the light, and keep doing that until there's no more images and you should have your part printed. Now that you know how it works, I bet you want to know if it works. Well, you tell me. I have never used an SLA printer before. I know how they work. I've seen them work. I have an idea of how everything needs to go together, but I've never even been in the same room with one. And holy crap, I'm pretty sure this is actually printing. This is actually going to work. This video has to be out before Christmas or otherwise it's useless. And I think it's actually printing. How? Okay, it's been a couple hours and the print is finally done. I just got back in and there's totally a print in there. It did the whole thing. I can tell. Doesn't look that great, but there's a completed print in this two week old Christmas ornament 3D printer. Okay, for being the first print, I am incredibly happy that it actually worked, which is a feed in itself. So basically what happened to this is it looks a little smushed. It's supposed to be like just a tiny little sphere, just to be a really tiny Christmas ornament. Because I'm not using limit switches, didn't have time to incorporate them, I had to get fancy with the code. So basically it pushes the, when the layer's done, it pushes the motor up a certain amount to ensure that it pulls this off of the build, off of the basin, because it, this will stick to the basin as well. Put lowers it back down until the motor stops. And when the motor stops, that's the zero, the next zero, and then it comes up a couple of steps, and that's how I get my resolution. The walls on the sphere were too thin, so this stuff's still kind of flexible because it's not fully hardened. When it got to the other side of the sphere, it started mashing the layers together because it was coming down too hard. So my next print should work a lot better, but this is, this is it. This is a print in the 3D printed Christmas order. This is the first Christmas order, as terrible as it looks. Not quite the sphere I was going for, but it prints. That's crazy. All right, let's try printing something else. Okay, print number two just finished, and I think it worked. I don't think there's any problems with it. Let's get it off of there and check it out. One tiny little YouTube play button. For the second print ever, gotta hang this one on the tree. Okay, I've got one more print going that I'm gonna leave going overnight. Turns out one of the settings was set wrong. That's why the uh, YouTube play button turned out so tiny, but it was a cool test anyway. So this is just gonna be a standard ornament, just a round sphere. We're gonna look at the resolution and all the settings should be correct now. So when I come in in the morning, hopefully the print didn't fail. Yeah, it failed. So it must've come off the build plate last night. So as you can see, it's stuck better to the 
basin than it did the build plate. So it came off partway through after I left. And you can see there's like a circular pattern there as well. I'll have to change the plastic in this because it's probably ruined. Moment of truth. Yes. Finally, we have a successful print. So you can actually see the extra details that the printer wasn't able to do. There's supposed to be holes there. XY resolution is obviously currently better than the Z. So I'm going to call it there after lots of failed prints and a couple successful ones. I'm going to call this project a success because I didn't even think I was going to be able to print anything. Two weeks ago when I started this project, I had no idea what was going to happen. I didn't give myself enough time and somehow it actually worked. It's not perfect, but it actually printed things. There's definitely a learning curve and there's a lot of settings I could be playing with, but right now I'm just trying to get anything to come out, still printing something. And if you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because I'm actually going to be continuing on with this project, not in ornament form, but in small SLA printer form and actually make an actual real product and it'll be fully open source and you'll want to follow along with that. It's going to be really cool. So yeah, everyone, it's Christmas Eve. I'm super tired and up super late the last two days and I have to go see my family. So everyone, you know the deal. Be good and happy holidays.